When the mailman came and brought this to my house, I saw him carrying that huge box. I looked at the mass and thought to myself, hell no. What's up? I'm Alan and this is Borderline Explore, the channel for you if you enjoy backcountry camping and overlanding. So today, we're looking at the Browning Zero Degree Double Sleeping Bag. With four and a half out of five stars on Amazon, I thought, why not? My wife and I could use some warmer nights. This is a zero degree synthetic double sleeper bag by Browning. And if you didn't know this about double sleeping bags, you're basically buying a two pack of sleeping bags when getting a double. Many double sleeping bags can separate the top and the bottom layer, and then they zip to themselves, creating two separate sleeping bags. Also, sleeping solo in the double configuration could result in feeling a little bit colder because you only have half the body heat. With this bag, you're getting polyester lining with 210T ripstop poly, synthetic fill, two pockets, and a stuff sack. Pockets are spacious. You can drop your phone, chapstick, or headlamp in here. I gotta say, the lining inside is pretty soft, and I didn't experience any static buildup. Let's run down the positives. My wife and I, we are two average size Asians, so we almost have too much space, if there's such a thing. Also, side sleepers, you can rejoice, because there's a lot of space. This bag is coming in at just under $200. Now, considering that uh, if you're trying to get a sleeping bag for two people, that's a great deal. My other sleeping bag is a 15 degree bag, and it's $300 for one bag. Just know that this is a great value, but it's not for everybody. Okay, some other positives. The zippers, they don't suck. I hate sticking zippers on sleeping bags. Okay, I hate sticky zippers, period. I hate them all. It's nighttime, you're in your tent, you don't wanna be messing around with the zippers and getting it caught on everything. No fun, no bueno. And to be honest, this is a warm bag. I sleep average, maybe slightly on the colder side, and I haven't had any issues as long as I'm well insulated underneath by my sleeping pad. Let's go over some of the negatives. It's a bit noisy at night when you're shuffling around, and I think they actually added too much fabric to the top layer, which makes it scrunch up, and it makes a lot of sound. I mentioned this thing is warm, this thing is spacious. Yes, but it's a behemoth. It's huge. I wouldn't mind if we were car camping, or had a trailer with a bed in it, but this is ridiculously gigante for our uses. The large size also contributes to more time stowing this thing away. There's so much to roll up and stuff into the huge stuff sack. Well, okay, Alan, then break it down. Break it down and only bring one. And I thought of that, because my wife doesn't come with me in all of my trips. I would, but then I need to buy another stuff sack because this one only comes with a single stuff sack that fits the full double sleeping bag. It would be nice if they sent us two separate smaller bags, but that's just getting kind of nitpicky. Finally, let's talk about the zero degree rating. No way. <laughs> You'd be comfortable over 25 degrees-ish is my guess. The synthetic is cost effective, but not space effective. It's not for lightweight campers or backpackers, unless you're crazy. You know what? Actually bring it to your backpacking trip. I'd love to see that. Just look at this thing. Compared to my Nemo Disco 15. To be fair, apples to oranges, all right? We're comparing different ratings. A zero degree, a 15 degree, synthetic fill, a double, down fill. But to be realistic, space is space. And this thing is huge. So what's the verdict? The verdict is you gotta hit that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm push this video out to help educate and grow our camping community. This bag is no good for lightweight campers. It's perfect for those who have the space, who travel in twos all the time, and wanna save some money on comfort. If I were to buy sleeping bags for myself and for my wife, I'd have to spend $300 on her bag, $300 on my bag to be nice and warm throughout the winter. When instead you can just spend 
on a huge sleeping bag. So if you don't mind the space, it's great. I left a link in the description down below to this sleeping bag. And I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Browning and all these opinions are of my own. But if you're Browning and watching, feel free to contact me. I love to play around with more products, review them, and then give them away to my borderline fam. Subscribe if you're not already part of the family. If you like what you see, I'm also on Instagram at Borderline Explore, and I try to get back to as many DMs as I can. Well, that's it for this one. And remember to worry less and to live a little. See you in the next one.